So we're gonna play this here game and um, we'll see what it goes like, yeah? This is already getting to be annoying. This loop is going to kill me. I'm going to turn down the volume because uh, I don't know how many balloons I'm gonna pop, but this is awful. Hey there, hi there, hide here with this annoying music playing in his brain. Don't worry, if you get tired of it, it's only on like a 20 second loop. You'll hear it again. Yeah, okay. Today we're going to be playing Gerald Smith's Balloon Popping Simulator 2. Let's check out the tutorial. Welcome to the tutorial. Left click on red balloons to pop them. Make sure they don't float away. Blue balloons will take more than just one click to destroy. Yes, get that balloon. Yellow balloons move from side to side as they ascend. Left click them before they escape. Purple balloons are fired from cannons. Orange balloons are different. Right click them to pop them. Left clicking will not work. Too many balloons? Left click on a green balloon to pop them all. Sometimes special boss balloons will appear. These take many clicks to pop. Good explosions. You have completed the tutorial. Huh? You're new. So are you. Perhaps there is a way out for you. If it sees you with the key, it will kill you. I have hidden it inside a balloon. Find the key. Find the key. Escape. Do not let it keep you here forever. Perfectly normal balloon popping simulator, everyone. Let's go! So we gotta right click? No, left click. It's the only the orange ones that we have to right click on, right? This should be pretty easy. We just gotta pop balloons. Do, do, do. At least the music is different, right? Like, this has that chiptune kind of Pokemon feel. Any of you ever play the original Pokemon games? Like, I learned how to read off of Pokemon Yellow. That game taught me the basics of reading at an advanced level. Right? So you, you gotta be very appreciative of games as an education tool. Like, I'm not... Mm, I'm not... Not really a lot of many people... Not, <laughs> not many people really understand the importance of gamifying things, but it's also one of those things that have come up in recent years in pretty much every technology system. Like people or patients with diseases, like for managing things. You gotta gamify it, right? That's what everyone's saying. I don't agree with that. I really don't. I, I think there are problems with gamifying things. I don't think people really should gamify things which are less than fun to be playing, you know? <laughs> like, people just want to be ignorant of anything that they don't like, for the most part. Some people are actually very thoughtful, right? Some people like to reflect, and they like to actualize things. They like to be the best possible them that they can be. And for those kinds of people, usually what they need to do is be aware of who they are and what they're doing. What, what is happening here? Am I being hypnotized slowly? I, I don't like this. It's going too fast. I did not sign up for some kind of advanced clicky game, okay? Uh, it's going too fast. It's going too Oh no. Thankfully, there is a green balloon. That saved us, because Hyde was really struggling there. Like, Hyde cannot think well under pressure. It's just one of those things, right? Some people really think well under pressure, and others don't. And I'm one of those others, right? I don't think we've missed a balloon yet, which is good. I'm hoping we can find that key wherever it is. Oh, hold on a second. Wait, wait, wait a second. That wasn't fair. That wasn't fair. 
I hit the green balloon. I hit the green balloon. Okay, there's gotta be a key in here somewhere. In one of these balloons, right? It wouldn't be in the game itself. We already looked at all the game balloons, right? So there's gotta be one of the ones in here. Do we have to wait? Is this the balloon key? I don't know. Where would the balloon key be? There's gotta be a balloon somewhere, right? Or there's gotta be a key somewhere. It wouldn't just be... You wouldn't put it here for no reason, right? Is it in the tutorial? I don't click back. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Where is the hidden key? I look crazy, right? But there is a hidden key in some balloon in this game. I know this to be true, because the crazy old man said so. Make sure they don't float away. But what if I let it float away? Yes, get that balloon. What if I didn't get that balloon? Yellow balloons move from side to side as they ascend. Left click them before they escape. Okay. Purple balloons are fired from cannons and will move very fast. But left clicking them will slow down the next balloons. Orange balloons are different. Right click them to pop them. Left clicking will not work. Too many balloons, left click on a green balloon to pop them all. Or you could just do that. Uh huh. Sometimes special boss balloons will appear. Take these many clicks. These take many clicks to pop. Where is the balloon? You gotta show me the balloon. Where is the balloon? Show me the balloon. Okay. So, I, I guess we're just gonna pop balloons. So, I, I don't know. What do you want to talk about? Like, I I've been making a new wine. My new wine is a, um... A juice blend, right? I bought a commercial juice blend that. I bought a commercial juice blend that was practically free at the prices I bought it at, right? So there is that. Whenever you're making wines, getting them at the price of nearly free is always a good idea. Whenever you can at least, right? Sometimes you have to use expensive fruits, and that's fine. Like, if you actually want something like flavor, right? But, um, Hyde doesn't care about that. What Hyde cares about most is the alcohol content, right? And I know what you're thinking. He just wants to get drunk. No, no. 
I like making my wine at a very specific alcohol content, because then you get the burn, right? And if you don't have enough sugar in your juices, you won't get enough alcohol. So it, it's, it's very much something that you have to keep an eye on. And that's why I use a hydrometer. Yeah. Uh, to measure specific gravity. Whenever I do any kind of wine making. At least I used to. Nowadays I can just pretty much taste it. Like, <laughs> you probably shouldn't be drinking live wine. But people drink live beer. Right? All the time. So that's fine too. Like, most people don't realize that beer can have live yeast in it. There we go. This background's really trippy, right? The first time I got here, I was wondering if I was going to be hypnotized into doing something I didn't want to do. Like, clucking like a chicken. But, I think it's fine. I don't know how far we got last time. I think our score was in the 200s. And we let one balloon go. And it wasn't even fair, right? Unless it was a blue balloon. I don't think it was a blue balloon. I think it was... There we go. I think it was a red balloon that was just off screen for when we hit the green balloon. So it didn't count. And that made me very upset, right? It might have been that one. need to concentrate on this very intense balloon popping game, right? Yeah. Pom 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 pom. Okay. I don't know what we're doing. Like, where is the balloon that we need to get the key? There is a key somewhere in here, right? That is what the one guy said. The skull dude said that there is a key in here. Look, I am not playing that again. So, uh, I clicked out of the... <laughs> I clicked out of the game window, right? And I hit start... No, I hit studio mode on OPS, and that stopped my recording. Like, I lost, because it freaked me out. I thought I doxed myself. Um, I didn't, so... Yeah. We're, we're just gonna call this entire video a wash. Maybe, just maybe, we'll get some fun shorts out of it. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, two out of five cigarettes. I doubt. Hey there, hi there, hi to here. Back at the balloon popping simulator that he said he wouldn't play again because he hates his life. And we're gonna try again. So here we go. We're, we're gonna start again. That red balloon. We're gonna pop it. Poppity pop pop. Yes, yes. What was I talking about the last time I was playing this? Oh, I was talking about making garbage wine again, right? Like, I've got a new, uh, batch of garbage wine going. I, I got some juice on the cheap, right? From a discount store. Practically free at the price I was given it, right? And when you can get winemaking materials for practically free... Like, the only cheaper way to get winemaking materials is to steal it or get it out of a dumpster. And, uh, Hyde isn't above either, but... <laughs> he didn't have to do either this case. Now we're going to be very careful not to hit the OBS studio mode, which ended our prior recording. Yeah, that wouldn't be fun. Can't hear a thing. Nope, nope. I am not listening to this game audio, so I do not have to listen to that annoying sound that you're hearing. You, the viewers, of course. I don't know, um... After listening to it for, what, 15, 20 minutes now? I, I can't do that 20 second loop anymore. I really can't. I would go insane. Like, a lot of people think I'm already insane. I'm not. I, I just drink dumpster wine, right? 
And honestly, if you want to drink dumpster wine, there's nothing wrong with drinking dumpster wine, right? People enjoy dumpster wine all the time. Like hobos. You ever worry that, you know, maybe you were meant to be a hobo in your life? Like, I thought I was meant to be a hobo in my life. Like, not, not like, um, in the weird way, but like a, a train riding hobo. Like, if I could play harmonica, I think I would make for a great hobo. I, I could ride the rails and uh, my life would be free. I wouldn't have to worry about anything, right? Wouldn't that be fun? I think that'd be fun. The great outdoors, you get everything for free because you <laughs> have to scrounge for everything for free. Now, you could argue that living like that isn't getting anything for free, right? You, you could argue that that's just effort. Nope, you're not going to get past me this time, Balloon. But, like, how would you define free, then? Do you mean free of effort? Do, do you want to live in some kind of rat paradise? I don't know. Rat utopia, universe, whatever it was. Hyde doesn't enjoy the thought of that. Hyde subscribes to the idea of the power process. And, um, hold on a second, that balloon's going to get to me. Okay, we're back at the boss battle. And that means that your actions ought to... Oh, gotta click, gotta click, gotta click. There we go. Your actions ought to, in some way... Ah, these balloons. No, no! <laughs> uh, <laughs> I am so tired of playing this balloon game. There is a secret key somewhere. I know there is. You, you've hidden the balloon. You, you've hidden the key in a balloon. I know you have. I can't get to that balloon. Where is the key? Old man, tell me your secrets. Yes, get the balloon. Purple balloons are fired out of cannons. Tell me where the key is. Show me the key. Where have you hidden the key? I don't want to play this game anymore. Look, I'm an old man. My reflexes aren't as good as they used to be. I think we're going to call this game here. Yeah? Yeah. There's no reason for me to be playing this game and clicking on these balloons that I'm not going to be playing anymore. Yeah, no. No, Hyde is done with this game. But he can't stop clicking the balloons. It's like an addiction, right? It's like... Popping bubble wrap. You ever pop bubble wrap? Don't answer that, I know you have. Like, everyone pops bubble wrap. But there's something about the tactile sensation of popping bubble wrap that you just can't not pop bubble wrap when you see it, right? Hide knows. Hide knows. This isn't even gonna be in a video, right? <laughs> there's no point in me saying any of this. Maybe I'll turn it into a short. Maybe I won't. Hyde doesn't know, but, uh, hide out in this case. See you next time. Yeah.